Hi there, I'm Peter Millard and this is 10 Minute Workshop, where 10 minutes in the workshop is never 10 minutes wasted. In the workshop this week we've got a quick tip for you, and that's coming right up after the jingle. So after the video last week about uh, the Festival vs Tutor, I ended up having a bit of a discussion about uh, kickback. Uh, <clears throat> I, I didn't mean to make a big deal of this. Um, kickback something that can happen on a plunge saw. Uh, some plunge saws have an anti-kickback feature built into them. The one I compared the festival to last week did. Uh, DeWalt made a huge song and dance about one of their signature features was anti-kickback built in. Um, in practice, uh, I've only ever had kickback once in 11 years and that was, you know, early on. So almost certainly put it down to inexperience. It's the kind of thing that happens when, particularly if you're plunging into uh, thick materials, so kitchen uh, worktop is the, is the typical one, if you're doing it too quickly with too blunt a blade, or if you're not paying attention or any combination of those, th the blade actually acts like a wheel and it just kind of pushes the saw backwards. And that's what happened to me um, uh, when, when I had my little uh, experience of it. Uh, the saw was on the rail, I was plunging down to do a, hob or a sink cut out and it just nudged backwards slightly, pushed it just over the cut line um, well within the, the, the safety area so that was fine. Um, if you've experienced it you don't want it to happen again and the first thing I did was I went out and bought one of these little guys, um, I think they call it, it's a Festool Dingus, uh, I think it's a rail stop or something and all it does it slots into the rail and it literally stops the saw kicking back. So you mark your, your in or your out point and you just lock it down. It's as simple as that. Now because of the design of this, um, it allows a guide rail mounted router to pass unhindered. But actually there are some times when you don't want that to happen. You'd rather have it as a stop. And what I've done, this little guy, lives in the guide rail bag and I've actually made a couple of stops for the rail and they're really easy to do. We'll make a couple of those now. So to make these little rail stops it's not difficult. We need a couple of little pieces of MDF that just fit into the trough between the ribs of the rail. We need a couple of slightly longer pieces that fit on top of those and overhang the T-track. You need a couple of bolts um, these are 8 mil, I think, which doesn't really matter, uh, with wing nuts attached as well and a couple of washers. Um, the main, the important thing about these is that the head of the bolt fits into the teeper. So I've ground the edges off very slightly uh, and I've put a little bit of black sharpie uh, around the ends, the sides that I know are ground down so that I know that they'll fit in there. So with our narrower pieces of the jig settled into the trough between the ribs of the rail, we can offer up our longer section into position and mark the approximate centre of the slotted track. Then drill a hole at this position for the bolt. With a strip of double-sided tape on the smaller piece of the jig and the bolt slid into position within the track, we can drop the longer piece over the bolt and position it over the smaller piece before pressing it firmly home. Then we just add the washer and the wing nut, making sure that the stops move freely when unlocked. These rail stops will either act as an anti-kickback stop or just as general stops when, say, routing grooves for face frames. <laughs> okay, well that's it for the workshop this week. I hope you found it useful. Um, I actually prefer my, my homemade rail stops to the Festool Originals. I still have the Festool one, I keep it in the rail bag just for uh, occasional use, uh, but these little guys are so much more useful, so much more versatile um, and really quick, cheap and easy to make. So I hope you enjoyed it, hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it out amongst your friends and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.